In the 1940s, she was the spiritual chief of the nation. And 60 years after her death, Eva Perón continues to inspire. Julian Rios works in a political movement to help the poor. A Vida gave voice to the poor and the workers in Argentina, and she helped them win rights. She is the face and the expression of all poor people in the country. That's why we'll never forget her. Evita was the illegitimate daughter of a landowner and worked as an actress until she met her husband, Juan Perón, who later became Argentina's president three times over. As first lady, she became a champion of the poor, building schools and hospitals across the country. Coming from humble origins, she was loathed by the elite, but it was because of her that Argentine women were granted the right to vote. Nelida de Miguel was her assistant and a historical figure in the Peronist party. She says Evita represents the fight for social justice. She hated the oligarchy and spoke critically about them, and I saw what she did. She would sit at 4 a.m. in a hospital and help long lines of people. I would see her fall asleep while working. She was committed to helping people. Eva Perón died of cancer when she was only 33 years old, and this is the place where she's buried. Evita remains an icon in Argentina, partly because she died young, but also because of the simple ideals that guided her life, namely her hope for a better world and her commitment to helping the poor. And that commitment is one of the reasons why the Peronist Party continues to win elections in Argentina. Nestor Cagnoli lives in a neighborhood built during the government of Juan Perón and Cecevita changed his life. What I feel for Eva Perón can be expressed in my tears for the extraordinary woman that she was, the amazing things she did. She was a saint. Eva Perón. Eva Perón has sparked love and hatred in this country, but never indifference. Only five years of public service were enough to turn her into a legend, not only in Argentina, but internationally, and still revered some 60 years after her death. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.